Hi everybody, it's your lovely Lotus Blossom Lizzie, and this is the third part in our series on making this lovely junk journal that you see in front of you. And I always like to request and ask that if these are the type of videos that you love, then please make sure that you give this video a thumbs up, subscribe, hit the notification button so that you'll be notified when more videos like this come out. And don't forget to leave a comment and let me know what you think. And I offer accept, I also accept um, any constructive criticism that you may have and questions, of course. All right. So um, this is supposed to be um, putting together what I'm kind of decorating the signatures but what happened what had happened was I did record this and um, I had some technical difficulties and was unable to recover the footage so I'm going to show you what um, I've done so we have three signatures here you'll see and they look a little bit different than what you've seen before and what I did was I actually pulled out some vellum that I also provide in the shop over at pleasantcreations.com and I cover each signature with vellum as well because it's something about vellum I just feel like you know vellum belongs in books so I put those in here so I have some nice florals to put in here so um, let's look at the first signature. Let's get some of this stuff out of the way so you can see it. And I just kind of have everything all kept together here. All right. So again, I put the vellum on the front. And what I did was I adhered some tabs. And these are actually, let me see if I can get a little bit closer so you all can see. These are some fabric tabs on here. And I did four fabric tabs to a signature. So as I go through, you'll see those. And I sewed them on with a zigzag stitch. So that's one reason why you want to do some, you know, decorating um, before you sew your signatures in. If it's something that is going to be difficult to do before, I mean, after everything is in so sewing would be one of them so I sewed on some tabs and I think I'm going to add some more tabs as well as I go and then this is a flip out and I just did some decorative sewing on the edges to make it look nice and pretty here I put on some lace and I used a zigzag stitch for that and not only can you see the zigzag stitch on this side but you can see it on the side of the page too and it looks quite lovely and then we have another tab that I sewed on and I didn't really measure the tabs out I just I tried to make them as even as I could and then I just kind of sandwiched them in between the paper so you can see it on both sides now you could just you know you can glue it on you can staple on your tabs any kind of way to put your tabs on if you want tabs and um, again these are fabric tabs now this page right here I used an uh, edge decorating tool um, that I got from Tuesday morning you can see there it's very pretty and it's very quick and I was worried that this page I wasn't going to be able to do that because um, it is a very old ledger page but it worked out quite nicely and the page looks lovely and some pages I just left blank uh, for further embellishment um, because this book is mine. Uh, I'm trying to avoid <laughs> doing decorating before I even put the pages in. Um, too much decorating. And then here I just took some scraps. I have a little jar here that I keep on my desk with some scraps. And I just grabbed some scraps out of there. And I sewed that on as well to my little um, book page from Gulliver's Travels. And then here, um, we didn't do anything with those. And then here's another tab and sewed that on with a zigzag stitch as well. And then I took a piece of fabric. It was kind of almost in a square, um, but not quite. And I just took a straight stitch and I kind of folded the fabric over so you can see it on both sides. And I just put it on there. Next, I had a big piece of lace, and you'll also notice that I let the lace overhang just a little bit. So it's really up to you if you use this technique as to how much overhang that you're going to do. And then I'm going to just go ahead and cut this little piece off at the bottom 
Um, actually, I can do that right now because that is something that I would do like after I sew it on. So I would make the lace a little bit bigger and then do the cut, cut the edges off afterwards. It makes it easier when it comes to sewing. Okay. And then here on the other side of our ledger page, I did another decorative uh, edging with a punch. It's a decorative punch. And we left that page blank. We have another tab here. And this one is the same material that the inside cover of the book is going to be. We have another decorative stitch here on the edge. So for the most part, um, mostly everything is the same from signature to signature. And then I also had this big piece of fabric and it was this, almost the exact size I needed. So I just made it into a belly band and I sewed, the, sewed it on. And again, you could use glue to sew it on here. So you don't have to have a sewing machine to do the, any of these techniques. Okay, and then I'm just going to paper clip this back up and let's go to the next signature. All right, so here's our next signature. Sorry, got a lot of stuff going on on this desk here. All right, so here's our next signature. And again, I um, actually put on some vellum. You can see what the vellum looks like here. And these pieces of vellum, they come in full sheets and they're not folded when you get them, which is nice. So if that's something that you're interested in, again, again, that's over at pleasantcreations.com. And the link will be below in the description. So here um, is another piece of cardstock and I didn't do anything to it on here. We have a sewn in tab. We have our lace, and again, the lace is overhanging with a zigzag decorative stitch, and you can see it on both sides. And then here, I just put on a um, piece of binding, uh, a binding strip. So I had some of that in my jar as well, so I used that on here, and I just cut it. And then I put some washi tape on the ends here, because I'm determined to use some of my washi tape. <laughs> and that's a fold out. And then we have another tab here. And some pages I left blank because I'm gonna do the edges a little bit differently once the book is put together. And then we have another one of our big pieces of lace here with, a, um, with it hanging over the edge. We have a tab, and I love the color of this tab. It has like a bohemian type of feel. And it actually came from some vintage um, binding strips that I had. And here we have a another piece of fabric, and it was just a ra really ragged piece of fabric, but it looks really lovely on the page, you can see there. And then we have some washi tape on the fold out here. We have another tab here, and then that ends that signature. I hope I'm not going too fast for you. All right, and then the last signature, because we're gonna have three signatures in this book. We have another piece of vellum. You can see how that looks. And I folded it over. All right, and then we have our cardstock. We have our lace that's overhanging. We have another piece of um, another tab that's sewn on with a zigzag stitch here. I had to double fold this page, so to cover that up, I just put some washi tape on it. Um, and this is a very nice floral washi tape as well. And this is the page that I Frankenstein together. So you'll see here, here's the stitching for the Frankenstein. You can see it on both sides and it looks really pretty actually. And then we have another tab. And on this page, I took some of my fabric scraps, that um, some vintage fabric scraps, and I just sewed them right onto the page. And normally, I probably would just glue them on, but since I had the sewing machine, I just I just sewed them on, and they look really, really pretty. Oh, let's get back in frame here. <laughs> and even the stitching on the back looks pretty. And that's just on some regular composition page. It's really thin, but it still worked out really well. All right, and. We have got the sunlight starting to come in <laughs> to my window. 
Okay. Let's see. Now we have another tab here. And then we have another piece of fabric that I kind of sandwiched onto the page and just use a straight stitch. And you can see it on both sides. See that? And let me just close this window. And then on this side, I used two different stitches to put this um, lace on. So I have the lace is overhanging, and I used a zigzag stitch, and then I did a combination of stitches here, a straight stitch and a zigzag. And you can see it on the other side of the page. All right, and then we have another tab here and then that's it for that one so it didn't take very long to do that um, I actually um, got, got the pieces that I wanted in advance I cut the tabs down the way I wanted them figured out the pages and then I sewed them all at the same time so now this is what our signatures are looking like and they're already getting a bit fluffy and they're gonna look fantastic when we put them in the book so that is going to be it for this video. In the next video, we're going to go ahead and sew in the actual signatures. So make sure that you stay tuned for that. If you haven't subscribed already, subscribe. You can leave a comment. <laughs> you can leave a comment below and also give this video a thumbs up. So with that, I'm going to say love, peace, and hair grease from your sweet Lotus Blossom and lovable Lizzie. Have a fantabulous day and enjoy life.